Hey, I'm Community. Welcome back to another Help X article. In today's video, we're going to go through how to create an HTML component that's able to send email messages based on templates. So within AM, when we refer to an email template, what we really mean is a node in the JCR. So we'll take a look here. So under notifications, email, HTML, we can say, see there's an EN text node. We open it up. This is what we mean by template. So we can see that we have um, different pieces of information and then there's notation. So for example, notice here we have dollar sign, curly brace, post message, close brace. And then this is going to be um, posted from AM. So in this case, we're posting from a HTL component and it's going to populate all these variables that we see in this template. So post message, we have time, we have prefix, and we have form, URL. So these are just examples of values that we can populate when we're um, posting messages from AM and we want to uh, send emails based on templates. So let's take a look at the client here. So we can see we have, we're going to put in the preview. We can see that we have just a simple form. We're going to fill it out. Um, we can select different values from this field. So we'll just say auto claim. We'll put in a message, hello, AM. So we can see we have my host, www.myearl.com, a name here, Tom Blue, and so forth. So when we click this, we can see that we've retrieved a message, email gone. And now AM is going to send an email based on these values, and it's going to insert the uh, email template with the values posted from this Ajax form. So we'll take a look at the email when it comes in. So let's take a look at the email that we AM generated. So open up our email. Here we can see the message. Um, so we can take a look at the message. So you can see that we have in the um, body of the message here, we have hello AM, which was passed in from our form. We can see that we have um, the other values. So we have www.myearl.com, we have Tom Blue, and then we have this value passed in from the form. So this is a perfect example of how we can um, configure AM to be able to send emails based on email messages. So the rest of this video, we're going to take a look at how this is done at a technical level. So just before we get into the code, let's take a look at the um, form. And versus the uh, email. So here we say we have, like I said, in the form URL field, we have www.myurl. You can see that's passed in here. We have my host, that's specified here. Um, my topic, Tom Blue, you can see that that's here, auto. Um, we had an auto um, selected when we first sent. And then we have the message. So this is really important to understand how you can set up an HTML component that is able to then be injected into an email template and then sent uh, with an email message. So at this point, we're going to start our project. We're going to start by generating a Maven 10 archetype project. We're going to copy the command from this article, drop it right into our command prompt, and then copy this value that we're going to be using in most of the fields in the Maven uh, in this command prompt. So the package will specify com am community, and then we'll use uh, email HTML for us the values. The one prompted for y, enter y. The once it's done, change the working directory to um, email HTML. We're going to run a second command to allow us to work with this project in Eclipse. We're going to put M3, let's go home. That's the name of our Maven environment variable. Maven Eclipse. Eclipse. I prefer creating AM projects using command prompt as opposed to trying to use the Eclipse pl um, plugin. Just I find it a little more efficient and um, it's just my choice. Of course, you're free to build this in a Eclipse plugin project if you prefer. 
So once we've done this, we can import the project into Eclipse and then start coding uh, the files and the classes and modify the problem file. Once again, we're building our project in this use case in the command prompt. So within Eclipse, um, you'll see some um, red error messages. You can ignore them because, like I said, we're not using Eclipse to build the project, rather Maven. So at this point, I've already imported my project into Eclipse. So to import, what we've simply done is we've clicked File, Import, and then existing projects into Workspace. Then we've just clicked Next and browse to our project on our in our working environment. So once we've done that, we can see that under Email HTL Core, we have a bunch of packages. What we're going to work in and today is under com am community core servlets. So what we want to do is build an am servlet or sling servlet to be able to post from the HTL component. So you can see here we've got um, a class named simple servlet. By default, it's going to be part of the um, Maven generated file. We're going to write this file. You can see that here we have sling servlet paths. We've got bin HL search servlet. So we're going to use this to post to. You can see methods post. And then within the servlet, you can see right away what we're going to do is we're going to use at reference and we're going to um, create a message gateway service. So once we do this, it's an we're using dependency injection and we're going to inject an instance of a message gateway service into this code. The first part of the uh, code under do post, we're going to just capture the values from the um, HTL component. So it's just simply posting from a form. So we have these uh, variables that's posted from the uh, HTL component, host prefix, form, URL, modified by form date, topic subject, topic URL, and message. Got a little log file here just to sort of track what's happening. And then here we're going to send to a um, another method within our code Java code here. So it's send H H email. So now we're in send HTML email method. First thing we notice at line 22 is we're going to create a map object. This map object has keys. So we have topic subject, time, host prefix, form URL, modified full name, topic URL, and then post message. Each key has to line up with a variable in the uh, template. So we go back to the template. You can see that each um, variable so we have time, we have post message, each variable in this template has to map to a key in the map. And then the value of that key is injected into this template. So this is really important to understand how we map from the key in the map to each variable in the template. So going back to the logic, on line 137, we're going to use a message gateway that we've already established earlier with using the at reference annotation. So then here we're going to be using email H HTML. So we're going to uh, make sure that we're sending email as opposed to plain text. We're going to be specifying template here. So we're referencing the location in the AM JCR of where the template is located. Here we're going to convert it to a resource using uh, request get resource resolver, get resource, and then passing in this. So it's converting this uh, string to a resource. And then right here, I'm going to open up this expanded full view. Right here, we're going to be creating a mail template object. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be referencing the uh, template, I mean the resource here. We're going to call it get path. And then we're going to um, call template resource, get resource resolver. And then we're going to adapt to a session here. So we've um, successfully going to create a mail template. And then from there, we're going to call get email. This is the important thing to understand. We're going to call string lookup map lookout method, and then we're going to be passing in the map. So this is how it maps from the template and then the variables. So the maps passed in that has the values of the variables, i.e. the keys, and then the value of each key. And then it's going to be uh, setting this uh, HTML email here. And then from there, we're just going to be specifying the uh, values like normal when you programming with Java mail API. So we're going to call add to and then pass in the email address we want to send it to. The subject, set subject, and then we can send uh, set from. And then we're going to use the message service gateway here. And then we're going to um, pass in the um, 
HTML email object. Notice here we uh, got dot class, and then we're ready to send the email. So when we're going to call message gateway service, send HTML, cast it as an HTML message, and then send in the email object that we've created here and set with the, this body of code. So that's how it works. So this is how we can reference a template, populate the template with values passed in from a front end component. So in this case, it's an HTML component passed in with a post request, set up all the, um, the lookup look up stuff, uh, get the template converted to a resource, and then finally pass it in. So all this code is in the article. You can copy and paste from the article into your clips project. We've got a little more explanation of the code down here. So at this point, um, we're ready to modify the POM files. So because we're working in AM62, we're going to take this uh, master dependency and we're going to place it right into the um, POM file located at the root of the project. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to our working directory called um, news, sorry, um, email HTL. And then you can see the POM file here, so we'll open up in brackets. Scroll down here, we can already see the uh, master POM, um, dependencies right here. So this is where we want to put in our code from the article. So we copy this, just paste it in. So notice here we're referencing Uber the uber jar 6.2 then we're putting in another dependency down here we need for our project we can save this next we want to take the dependencies from the article here and then we want to uh, paste them into our palm under the project so we go back to clips we can see here that we have our palm file we want to overwrite the dependencies here with the um, dependencies from the pump up. So at this point, we're ready to build the project. So we're going to build the project by running this maven command. So it's uh, maven p auto install package install. This is going to um, upload the both the front end and the back end, the OSGI component and the all the uh, front end to AM. And we can take a look at what's going to be the result. So under apps, we're going to have um, the email HTL project we can see here. So when we open that up, we can see components, content, structure, and so forth. And then we're going to be working under Hello World here from the article. Now following along in the article, we're at this point here. So we have to configure AM to use a mail server to do that. We're going to open up our um, configurations. So we go... Um, to AM and we go to here on your operations we can open up the web console and under that we can go to configuration and then what we want to do is look for a specific um, row so if we copy from the article here we want to look for the day CQ mail service and then we open up that we can see that we have a value here. This is where we want to put our mail host. We want to put in our port number. So this is the most it's simple mail transfer protocol servers are going to use port 25. We want to put in our um, SMTP user. So in this case, I'm just putting in my user and then my password and then click save. So that's all there is to it. So we're going to be, once uh, we're using a message service gateway, we're going to be pulling in these values into the um, dependency injected object. And it's going to be able to successfully use uh, the mail service gateway. So if you do not configure this properly, it's not going to work. So you need to specify your mail host, this port, the username, and then the password. So the last part of the, art, uh, the video here, we're going to go over the front end. So the first thing we notice about the front end here is that we're going to be create, um, adding some HTL code. So this is basically um, a table that we're going to use for, in our component. So we switch back to CRX and we go to Hello World. We can see the code. 
So the first thing to notice here is we're going to be pulling in client libraries. So we're going to be using HTL syntax to do that. So notice that the name of the, ca um, the categories is HTL Ajax. We specified right here. The rest of this line one is the syntax we're going to use when using in HTL to pull in a client library. And then what we're going to be doing um, is just simply setting up some HTL that acts as a form that we're going to be posting to. So we scroll down here, you can see here's all our fields that we're posting to the uh, backend Sling Servlet. We've created a client library for this uh, example, and the client library contains jQuery um, logic here, and that's simply going to be notice on document function uh, ready function here. We're going to um, have a submit, so when the user clicks the submit button, it's going to get all the value, it's going to read the values from the form, and then it's going to perform an Ajax, um, Ajax operation to uh, the sling servlet that we set up. So it's URL bin HL sling servlet. So make sure that you understand the relationship between this and then what we see in the um, actual Java code in the sling servlet. So if we go back to um, servlets, let's just make sure we get that open properly. We can see that it's mapping to this, to the paths, and as part of the sling servlet. And then we're just passing in the uh, variables. And then once it's success, it's just going to um, send a message. So here we've just simply um, put in a message, something like "email's gone." So we go back to the sling servlet. You can see here. Email is gone, and this is going to write to the interface that we've seen at the beginning of this video. So this is basically the end of the video. Um, we've gone over how to set up email templates, how to set up the map, how to set up um, message service gateway using within a Sling servlet using the at annotation reference, and then how to configure it all. So it's going to be sending an email message that's based on the template. How to populate the the map and then the linking between the map and the variables and the template. And then we've also covered how to set up the um, message service gateway configuration in the configuration part of AM, and then finally how to um, pass from a HL component values to the Sling servlet, so then it's going to send an email. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video, and keep an eye out for future HelpX articles. And um, also, feel free to join our YouTube community channel. Thank you.